This is a series of videos on creating a line following robot. In this particular video, we'll focus on speed control of a line following robot. Instead of creating the robot from scratch, what we'll do is we'll use the model browser and select the line follower.ptm file. Then I'll show you how to do speed control using the graphical user interface. After that, I'll show you how to do speed control using Lua script for which we will be using the regular API functions, which are in the link I listed above. So here we go to model browser, select mobile. And if you scroll here, you'll see a series of robots. I'm going to choose the line follower to TTM. So select this and move it onto the scene. Okay, you can zoom it, uh, rotate and pan to see how it looks like. Okay, you can also run this. It goes fast, you can do this real time, so it'll go a little slower. Okay, so this is the line tracer. So if you open this, you see that there's a bunch of uh, uh, objects which make up the line tracer. Uh, this is the code for the line tracer. It looks pretty complicated. First thing I'm gonna do is delete this code. So here you can go to this icon it's called scripts. Uh, this is a child script attached to the line tracer. So select that and just press delete. And so you see that the script has disappeared. Now let's start to play it and you see that the line tracer goes nowhere. That's because the script associated with it has been deleted. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to control this robot using the graphical user interface. The key things here is that there's a joint on the left side, there's a joint on the right side, and we can set the speeds of the left and right joint. So double click this. Go to show dynamic properties. Here you can see the control mode, here it's set to velocity control mode, and this target velocity is the one which you're going to control. And that's in degrees per second. So let's say we want to go at 360 degrees per second. So one revolution, enter, close this, and then run. Now we have only set the speed of one of the wheels. So it's turning in, in one place in circles. We can do the same thing with the other wheel. Click on dynamic right joint, go to dynamic properties, change the speed to be 360, enter. And go. So now it moves straight. Now you can also do this, which is change the speed of one of them to say 180, so slower than the other one. And then you see that it goes straight as well as turns. Okay, so that is how to control the speed of the robot using the graphical user interface. Let us revert back to zero. Okay, so check this, let's just run, it will go nowhere, which is good. Okay, now I'm going to create a script and write everything in code. So choose line tracer, go to add, associate child script, non-threaded Lua. And you see, you see this empty script. Uh, what I need to do here is I need to refer to the API in order to program this. So let's open the API. I'm looking here for a item called get object, that is this particular a uh, function is used to get the object whose speed I'm going to control. In this case, it's going to be the dynamic left joint. The way this is called in Lua is this particular syntax, sim.getObject, string object path, and then that is assigned an object handle. So I'm going to write that down next. So double click on the line tracer script. I want to place it in the init function. The init function is called once. So let's call that left joint equals same dot get object. And in this case, the way I access this element is uh, forward slash dynamic joint. Uh, similarly, I'll, I'll access the right joint. Okay, now if I were to see what this does, what I can do is I can say print left joint. Okay, 
of this plant. And then if you see here, you can see it says number 16. That is to say this particular uh, joint was assigned number 16. Now let's see how to set the speed. Go back to the regular API. I get lost up looking to set the joint velocity. So joint target velocity is the right function. The way this is used is it's just say same set joint target velocity and I give the handle name and I give the velocity. The third I argument is optional. So let's take this. Going to line tracer. Now uh, I have an option. I can either place it here, in which case it called once. But if I want it to be called continuously, I need to create the actuation part function. So let's place it there. So the hand handle here is left joint. And the speed, remember, here is not in degrees per second, it's in radians. So let's just put two. And then third argument is option. Okay, so let's see how this works. You can see that it's turning just like what we saw earlier. Okay, now let's go back here and then set the velocity of the other joint. In this case, it would be my joint, and now it should move straight. Okay, we can also make it turn by specifying one of them to move forward. Yeah, and then just, just keep it at main street. Okay, so that shows how to do speed control of the line tracer.